YouTube, it's bebop 7 here, and welcome back to Untold Tales Honey Clan. Now in the last episode, we discovered a poor sickly little kit named Thorn Kit, and he was shivering, he was frail and tiny and cold, and I already said cold, didn't I, in the form of shivering. But basically, he needed a lot of help, and he was very, very sickly, so he came into what seemed like a warm place with lots of food with lots of, well, a few awesome cats and mostly lots of warm comfort. Now, um, Honeycomb, uh, she recently went on a little expedition on her own, off camera, to go ahead and gather some bird feathers and some more moss and some more brambles so that a uh, poor little thorn kit had some nice, uh, had something warmer to help him out with. So she has spent all day, all day gathering, and she went with leaf shade, she went with dust stripe to go and gather some stuff for this poor little kit so that everything would be warmer for him. And she realized that she wanted this place to be warm and comfortable and safe for any cat that decided to show up here. So she is going to work on gathering more, more plants, more things like that, more food definitely, but uh, we seem to be doing pretty good on the prey pile, so I think she's going to focus on gathering some moss and getting to know Thorn Kit and, um, you know, getting closer to her friends. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to let her go to sleep, and uh, it's almost time to go to sleep, but I think she's just going to relax here. She's been working a lot, traveling a lot. She's been running from a lot of cats. She had to run from a lot of cats in order to get those feathers. So she is exhausted. But I think with the next day, I feel like that she would come over here to uh, take care of Thorn Kit and check on him. Make sure that he's okay. And she and the other cats are all going to eat together. Oh, it looks like there's actually some more moss. So I think we're going to go ahead and let her drop this moss around here. But we're going to go ahead and uh, she and Thornkit are going to share a thrush. And uh, Duststripe and Leafshade are going to go ahead and eat mice together. She's going to get a drink and I think that Honeycomb is feeling... I think she's feeling the urge for a flower adventure. I think she wants to go on a flower adventure and I think that she might trust Duststripe enough now to hopefully control herself. So that, uh, so that they can go and gather flowers together. She has little hopes of getting anything. Anything at, uh, what, at, whatsoever. Anything at all. Because, uh, it's, it's winter, you know? You're not really gonna find much in winter, but she's going to try. And there's other cats! Bolt away! Dust stripe! Dust stripe, don't chase after them, okay? They aren't worth it! Oh! Oh! Okay, run, 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 run. Gosh, you guys have to dodge back and forth. You can walk on the water. Can I? Oh, I can't. Dust stripe, that's amazing. Dodge! We are just going to keep running from all of these cats, and dust stripe, as usual, is running after them. And I think Honeycomb's going to start getting a little bit annoyed at that. Uh, I wonder if she might, like, actually snap at dust stripe and just tell her to keep her head. I think, I think Honeycomb's just like, you told me. You told me you were ready for this. You need to stop. You need to calm down. And her health is a bit low. I don't like how low her health is. Give us more golden rod. Okay, you know what? We're gonna check around Graystorm. 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 Any golden rod? Graystorm. Graystorm. You pal, you. Uh, he and Honeycomb were friends when she was still in Thunder Clan, so uh, he's been very nice and helpful. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, okay, that's it. We are running. Why? It seems like today everybody is particularly hostile. Why don't we run to the four trees and see? Goodness. Goodness. Okay, that's it. We are talking to Trainer Tune. You. Can I heal? Okay, what's this? Um, all allies near you. Okay, I think Honeycomb is starting to panic a lot about her friend, so she's gonna go ahead, we're gonna make this active. She's gonna go ahead and she's gonna up the skill a little bit because her friend is really worrying her. Okay, I like it. Oh, this is a good one. I think she's also starting to get really sick and tired of Dust Stripe chasing off after those other cats. So she she's gonna start getting a little snippy, you guys. She's starting to get a little snippy and she's decided that this this is what she needs. She really wants to have good healing, and she really wants to make sure everything's okay. 
But uh, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna we're gonna leave, and we're gonna we're gonna use this. Looks like Dust Stripe's healed, but I think that if Dust Stripe tries to do anything else, Honeycomb has just had it. Honeycomb has had it with her attitude. Right now, what they are looking for, they are looking for flowers. They are looking for comfort, so that Thorn Kit has something to look forward to. So that Thorn Kit doesn't have to feel scared. Something like flowers. Something like fruits. Something like even little pebbles for him to bat around and Dust Stripes, Dust Stripes past and her anger against the clan is is putting that idea, that kind thought and gesture in in jeopardy. I think I think Honeycomb is really has she's really had enough of it. She's really quite done with Dust Stripes' attitude. So if Dust Stripe does that again, I think she's going to call her to her and make her stay by her side. So that, that doesn't happen again. Feathers! Yes, exactly what Honeycomb was looking for. She came out here to gather some flowers and stuff, and oh my god, there was a dog. Oh my god. That's it, you guys need to book it home. Alright, we're gonna run. We're gonna book it. We saw cats, we saw dogs. I think Honeycomb is really... These are really dangerous uh, expeditions that she's been going on. So she is bolting all the way back home. She isn't even waiting. She and Dust Stripe are just running, running, running. They aren't stopping for anything. So they're gonna run as fast as they can. She's dragging Dust Stripe along behind her. And I think, I think she's really starting to have it. I think Dust Stripe, you've, you've kind of pushed your limit there. So she is bolting back. She's feeling exhausted and thirsty and tired, but she got her flower hall that she wanted and she also got aggravated at a dust stripe at a dust stripe dust stripe the kitty cat who still continues to chase after other cats and I think she's just going to go to her little moss pile and take a sip and try to simmer down before she goes and she deals with it cuz dust stripe you really need to cool down you really need to cool down <sighs> I think honeycomb's just going to come over and plop some more feathers around Thorn Kit, who you can't even see anymore, oh my goodness, and I think she's going to give him a goldenrod. Goldenrods are her absolute favorite flowers, so she's going to give him a couple, you know, just a couple to enjoy, and then she's going to dump the rest of the fever few over in the rolling pile. There we go. <sighs> she has really had it. She has really had it with Duststripe, and I think she's going to scold her, but she's going to wait till the morning. <sighs> she's She needs to take some time to cool it and to calm down and just just maybe get some more prey. They'd eaten it. They're, they need to. Yes, okay. She can't even focus. <sighs> Dust Stripe. Dust Stripe really needs to take con She really needs to control herself. She had. She hurt herself. She got herself hurt because she was insistent on chasing after these cats. These cats that probably didn't even know what happened to her. And it's just this little this revenge, this grudge against the clans. And it was putting her and Honeycomb and whoever else was around Dust Stripe in danger and that was what Honeycomb was worried about. So I think she's going to have a talk with Dust Stripe. I think she's going to have to explain this to Dust Stripe that if she does it again there's going to be some issues and she might even end up confined to the areas where other clans don't often wander. So we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go and drop down uh, this Pray real fast. We're gonna drop the mice as well. Mice, mice, mice. Drop, drop. And we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna save and let Honeycomb go to bed. And I think she's going to take Dust Stripe with her after everybody's had their morning meal. So Honeycomb's just kind of quietly sharing a rabbit um, with Thorn Kit. She's just quietly sharing a rabbit with Thorn Kit. Mm -hmm. Dust Stripe and Leaf Shade, as usual, are eating together. And uh, out of nowhere, the conversation that Honeycomb had with Lee Shade about um, about kits, about kits, kind of popped to her mind. I don't know if you guys were here for this, but she and Lee Shade had a talk about kits, and uh, not uh, just like if they would want kits, when they would want kits. And I think watching them, she would uh, the thought would suddenly pop up in her mind, and uh, I think she'd get a little curious about it. But really, what she wants to talk about. She needs to, she wants to get serious here. So I think she's gonna drag Dust Stripe out of the clan on the guise of gathering brambles. And I think she's going to talk to her. I think she's going to talk to her. 
All right, Duststripe, I've had it. I've had it. Do you realize how dangerous your reckless behavior has been? Do you realize how close you got to being seriously hurt? The fact that you got out with just a few scrapes, even just one or two bad scrapes, is a miracle. Not only that, but if you keep acting like this, and I think Honeycomb's going to start wandering around here, if you keep acting like this, Dust Stripe, do you realize how much danger you're gonna put everyone else around you in? You're chasing after clan cats, clan cats where there are hundreds of them, well, not hundreds, where there are multiple, multiple clan cats. A clan! A fully realized clan. One that we have no hope of defeating. We have a th we have a kit! We have a thorn kit now that we need to worry about. We can't be letting our anger, we can't be letting our grudges get a hold of us and threatening those that we care about. So Duststripe, until you have learned to control your anger, until you have learned to control your grudge, you are going to be confined to these areas. You are not allowed to go out to where the other clan cat areas are. You are not allowed to go and hunt there. You need to stick within our borders, within our territory, and you may hunt. You may gather moss, you may gather brambles, but you are not allowed to go out there again. And I think after this whole spiel, after this whole mini rage, that uh, Deathstripe is just... She's looking... I think she's kind of shocked to see the real sweet, gentle honeycomb kind of get so fierce. But I think Deathstripe understands. I think she understands and I think she's going to... As almost humiliating as it might feel, I think she'll have to accept what Honeycomb said. And I think... I think her response would just be, I apologize, and I I will stay, I'm sorry. And Honeycomb, I don't think she has anything else to say. I think that the fact that Duststripe nearly got herself seriously hurt was bad enough, so I think she's just kind of frustrated that Duststripe doesn't seem to understand the full extent of how dangerous everything was. But she's going to put that aside for now, and instead she's going to work on what she's been trying her best to do, which is building a warm, comfortable clan where other cats that need a place, that need somewhere to be, can come and rest. <sighs> and you know what? I think she might take Thornkit with her. I think she's going to take Thornkit with her, and they're going to go together. And now that Thornkit has healed up a little bit, she's going to take him with her to go and gather some moss. And there's going to be some bondy time. So after the trouble with Duststripe, I think Honeycomb just, she wanted to just kind of take a breather and just relax and show little Thornkit how to gather moss from the trees. Show him where the best spots to find brambles are. And so they are working together to gather moss for the clan. And I wonder if she might even try to hunt with him. But she's going to go ahead, gather grambles. They're going to work together. They're going to stick very close to where everything else is. And Thornkit is just falling very obediently behind her. And she is just, uh, I think she's happy. I think she might stop here and show Thornkit, uh, the gentle giant, the horse that she has come to know as a friend. And while they're here, she's going to drop a piece of moss so that they can get a drink. And they're just going to sit peacefully and admire the horse. This, she's saying to Honey, she says to Thornkit, this is why I decided to build in this area. This is why I decided to make a clan in this area. The fact that such a giant, fearsome beast, Thornkit, could eat something as simple and as humble as moss and grass and brambles is really quite amazing. They're peaceful. They're kind and friendly. Let me show you. So she's going to bring Thornkit around this around this horse. She's going to show him show him how kind and friendly it is. They're gonna walk around in between its legs. And then I think she's gonna go and swipe up some more some more brambles. And I think she's just gonna say, This is what our clan is, and I want you to know you're safe here. We will protect you and we will make sure you're healthy. We'll show you the ropes. We'll take care of you. We will protect you, Thornkit, because that's what Honey Clan, that's what Honey Clan does. Those who need a home, we give them one. We give them a safe place. And I think together they would place down the brambles and they would place down the moss and continue to make a warm, happy home for future cats. And I think Bramble, Bramble, oh I said Bramble, I think Thornkit 
is feeling much better here. So she's going to go ahead, she's going to let Thornkit rest because I think all that wandering, although he is feeling better, I think that he would be very tired and ready to go to bed. And I think that Honeycomb's ready to take another personal hunting trip on her own. So she's going to go look for some more prey to keep the prey pile going. And I think after all this, as tough as it was to talk to Duststripe about that stuff, I think she is happy. I think she's feeling relieved to know that she finally addressed the issue and that hopefully Duststripe will not be going over to the other clan cat areas where they, where encounters are a common occurrence and to know that Thornkit might possibly feel more comfortable there, might possibly fully understand that in Honey Clan he is safe, he is cared for, and that no matter what he has a home. I think Honeycomb is feeling very happy. She's feeling very, very relieved to know that she is able to, with her friends, provide a safe place for lost and terrified little kits and cats that need homes and need love. So she's going to work her best on gathering more food for the prey pile so that everybody's taken care of. And she's going to go ahead and uh, she's gonna, she's gonna head home after hopefully one more bird grab. Cause you gotta have those, you gotta have those thrushes. It's a honey clan favorite. A little closer. And leap. There we go. So I think she's going to head home after feeling, I mean, after thinking over all this and after realizing that what she did, as hard as it was to make that decision, it was the right decision. So she's gonna drop her brambles. She's going to drop her prey that she found. And she's going to go to bed knowing that she did the right thing. Alright you guys, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I want to thank you all for watching. But I gotta be Bapanana here and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!